Yo, what up buddies, how you doing? Welcome back to another video. Fishing locally again, of course, but only for a few more weeks, so bear with me. I'm on the Hinamaya. I came down here yesterday to film Friday Filler, that last one you would have seen on coffee in the Aerobrass. That doesn't matter. I came down here yesterday to film that and the river was super high. So I'm back here today, just thought I'd have a little look and it's dropped heaps. So my first thought is fresh fish. There could be fresh fish in here. I'm gonna set up my swinging rod Gonna swing some flies. I've got my nymphing rod as a backup, just in case that's not working, it's not happening. Then I'm probably gonna go over the hill, drop back to another river, just have a poke in there because I haven't been in there for a few weeks actually, uh, and just kind of see what's knocking around in there. That's the plan, Stan. I don't know if I've talked about this, this new jacket of mine. I'm not really a Sims jacket fan, but um, I wanted something warm and waterproof for the winter. I settled on this Buckley, Bulkley, Buckley, what I'm what not sure what it's called, but like this one. And oh my God, it's so good. Super waterproof, super warm, and I'm loving it. So this is gonna be my winter jacket, hopefully now for a couple of seasons. It's quality, quality, mate. I'm uh, completely unprepared for today. I'm not, I'm not set up. Well, my nymph rod's set up. Kind of gives me a chance to, I guess, talk you through today's rig for swinging. I've got a Loop Q5 weight. It's pretty much all I've been using, actually, I think, for the swingy swing, mix swing swings. It's just a great all round rod, this. Uh, and then I've got, yeah, Opti Dry Fly loaded up with the Scientific Angler's Skagit Head 210 grain integrated spay line, which is so good. I'm not going to bore you with the details. If you're interested in me breaking down the, the setup that I've been using um, for swinging flies, I'll leave a link up here and you can uh, check it out. Take that barb down. And then I'm going for a uh, kind of an olive intruder style fly. Actually this one, uh, Flycraft sent me this and a couple of others of his flies. That is just a sexy looking fly. Me likey. Boom, boom, boom. That's that good to go. Cool. The first few bits of water that I hit are going to be all about the swing. A phono, El Bago, El Rodos, El Netos. Out of here. spot uh, there was somebody in it and now this is my second choice of swingy runs I mean I can see ah, there's fish there's fish everywhere fish everywhere so I'm gonna leave my nymphy rod there I might nymph this on the way back up potentially now I'm gonna start fishing from here I'm gonna fish out to that tail and I'm gonna work my way down that run there Swing, swing. This is kind of the water I start expecting to kind of get some interest. Yeah, see so this kind of stuff. That was a touch. Fish, fish, something tried to eat that, still there. Still there. Give another twitch up the edge. Ah, that fish followed that all the way across. Just touch, 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 bang, 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 bang. Just didn't quite commit, I guess. Yeah. Come on, come on. Yes, fish. You yeah, baby. That's what we came for. Just that nice slow drift tightens into a fish. Boom! Sick. 
Dark fish. Nice, nice, nice. Come on, come on. It's a good fish though. It really is. Looks pretty solid. Get a low rod angle and just see if I can coax him up here so I don't fuck up my uh, my water downstream of me. That's decent. I smashed that fly. Yeah, baby. Great fish. Uh, that was great. Whew. Mission accomplished. Swing a ding ding. Just are oh, perfectly hooked. Really, really nice fish that. Really nice fish. Cool. Pretty fat, obviously pretty aggressive, and I uh, like the look of a intruder style swinging fly. All right, let's get you back there. Eh? So, just, just picking my way down, just getting that swing nice and slow, really nice and smooth, trying to get that fly just as close to the far bank as I can put that mend in, slow everything down, and then just lead it across. Um, I have one, one fish follow my fly a uh, few drifts earlier and just kind of like pluck, 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 but it never really materialized into anything. And then that one there, that was just come across and it just went just smooth and tight. That was wicked. Oh, I'm into it. Take my bag out of the water. And uh, I still think I could potentially get another one out of that run. Anyway. That was great. I'm gonna go back fishing. Try and get another one. You can see fish just kind of moving up through this piece of water as I'm coming back down to where I uh, caught that fish. So these will all be fresh fish, I'm guessing, moving up through the system from yesterday. Ah, oh, shit. Gotta be careful. Don't lose it. right up close to the other side. Slow it down straight away. That nice, slow, long strip. Oh, that's a fish. May have been a bit early on the rod lift there, actually, to be fair. Better. Better. Oh, yep, yeah, straight away, it was a nudge. Another good fish. Come on, let's, let's try. I'm gonna try and land this guy here without going all the way back up there. Nice colours. Fish. Oh, what are the colours on these fish? Okay, so I'm not really in a position to show you this fish on the other camera, so um, I'm just going to show you. Game okay, hooked out. What colours on this guy? What a beautiful fish. That's awesome. Quick update. 
So I fished my way down that last piece of water and I caught two fish and I had probably four or five other kind of like bumps and kind of nudges and taps but they didn't actually materialize into getting banged which is fine I mean two fish down there I'm stoked about that one of the ones that bumped me I definitely fucked up by lifting the rod too early and the other ones I just don't think you know worked out anyway there's, there's a few people knocking around I stopped off uh, helped a guy out that was just uh, starting to fly fish and there's people knocking around so I'm still kind of ducking and diving and bobbing and weaving and trying to miss people and find water let's try fish this try catch fish Oh, idiot. Got him. Oh, wow. That was cool. So, that fish hit. I struck too early. Pulled a fly away from him. And then, um, while I was scolding myself, I kind of dropped, dropped the rod tip again. And then as I lifted it up, ate it again. That's a good fish. Nicest kind of winter Hinamaya fish. Oh, the colours, man. I mean, look at that. What an amazing fish. Wicked, wicked, wicked. Swing is the thing. <laughs> success as far as fish to the bank goes but I did have a couple of bumps uh, that just didn't turn into anything as you can see behind me she's getting a bit busy on the river so I'm out of here I really really enjoyed this morning I pretty much just swung the whole time I'm gonna scoot out of here and I might drop in at the other river as I go past it on my way home just a just a sneaky look <laughs> I am at the other river. If you know this river, you know what river it is. Yeah, there's a few cars as you can see. So I was about to turn around and go somewhere else, especially as I saw this dodgy looking truck pull up behind me. So I did a did a Yui and was driving out and it only turns out it's me old mate Dustin with hey, his brand down? new loop fly box. Sexy box, look at this. No, I don't have one. <laughs> No, that gap is a little bit too small. Like, <laughs> Come on. That's what she said. <laughs> okay, okay, cut, cut. We've been here two minutes. <laughs> nah, it's a nice looking box. Oh God. Uh, <laughs> but the gap is too small. But the gap too small. All right, so we're gonna spend, oh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give it like another hour and a half, two hours, so we'll go for a walk, um, see what's knocking around, and um, yeah, see what happens.
these two fish down here I was just filming. I don't know whether it comes out on here or not, but they're a couple of brown trout. So they're actively doing their thing. Like every now and then you can see the female just kind of coming up on the side and just actually doing a spawny thing. So we're not actually going to fish for those fish. And the third one just come in to the side of them too. So yeah, if you see fish like that, they're obviously actively spawning. Like, just don't fish for them, eh? Like, just leave them alone, go find something else, go find another fish to catch, go find another piece of water to fish, and just leave them alone to do their thing. The last thing they need is you trying to drag them off their spawning bed while they're just trying to, you know, get stuff done. So, uh, yeah, we don't fish for those fish that are doing that, so, you know, just think about it, watch them for a bit, it's pretty obvious what they're doing. If you see them doing it, don't fish for them. That's me, I'm out of here. Morning, like an hour and a half past when I was supposed to be out of here. Uh, Dustin's gone back that way to try and get himself a fish, and I'm gonna head home. Just before I go though, just say goodbye. So that was a really cool day. I had a really good morning, swinging flies, catching a few fish, getting a few bumps, getting banged a couple of times, and then, yeah, randomly bumped into Dustin here, Got a nice rainbow from down there, sight fished on an egg, and then, uh, yeah, nice walk up through there, saw a few fish, nothing happened. Uh, even with the lack of b-roll this morning, hopefully I've got enough for half decent video. And we are literally three weeks away from the backcountry season. Not that I'm counting down. Good to see you guys again, thanks for tuning in. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you've got any mates that like this kind of stuff and they don't know about this channel, Tell them about it, tell them to come on over, check out some videos, jump on board, that'd be awesome. All right guys, I will catch you on Friday with a Friday filler. Don't know what I'm doing yet, but I'll come up with something. In the meantime, have a great week. See you on Friday.